Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today in the show, we're going to make a salmon and Brussels sprout sheet pan dinner. So, let me show you what I've done. Now, I've already got my Brussels sprouts on my sheet pan. And I uh, put two tablespoons, I cut, well first I trimmed off the bottom, sliced them in half. And then I put a couple tablespoons of coconut oil, mix it around, salt and pepper, put them on the cookie sheet till they're flat like that now. Um, I said salt and pepper, and then I drizzled over a couple tablespoons of red cooking wine, or you could do balsamic. So we got that. So then what we're going to do is Bring your salmon over. Kind of like the little Brussels sprouts are like little bed for it to lay on. Okay. <clears throat> oh, well, let me put, let me put my red bell pepper down first. So hold on. Let me pull this back up. I sliced up some red bell pepper, just one, and then I'm going to do the same thing. Everybody's going to get at least two or three or four slices of red bell pepper. You can do any kind of pepper you want, okay? I just happen to get red at the grocery store. Okay, now let's put our salmon down. And I had to go the one with the skin because that's all they had. Now this was frozen, so I thawed it out, patted it dry. And we don't like the skin, we'll usually pull it off and eat the rest of it. So let me kind of move these down and then we're going to put the other piece like that. And then we're going to put some mushrooms around it. Now I wipe my mushrooms off with a little clean towel. That's how I do them. Because you don't want to rinse them because they can get sawed with water. So we're going to put a whole container of mushrooms right around here. Just nestle them down. These are just white button mushrooms. No biggie. Any kind will do. <clears throat> okay, we've got our mushrooms now. Okay, so now let's kind of, I'm going to take a little bit of butter and put it on my salmon. And then we're going to sprinkle it with some seasoning. Get me a spoon and kind of put a dollop onto each little salmon piece. Now you could put a little bit of coconut oil, whatever you want to do, okay? Olive oil, whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of spread it out a little bit on each little salmon fillet. This is happened to be some good Amish butter. Okay. Okay, got it all spread. Okay. Now we're going to come with our seasonings. Any kind of seasoning you want. I'm going to do this garden herb that I got, and we're just going to grind it. Let's see. Hold on, let me see. Does this need fixed? Not grind it, girl. There we go. Let's get it started. Well, I don't know if we're going to get it to do anything. 
Let me see. This little thingy over it. It's like really fine and it's not coming out. in my little grinder or something. Now I can't get the thingy. some rosemary and herb. That sounds good. Okay. And I'll pry that one thing off of that and just grind it in my grinder and put it in a container is what I'll do with that. That one herb. I can't get it to do the grinder. I think the grinder's broke on that. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of paprika. We love paprika on fish. And a little bit of rosemary garlic. Any kind of seasonings you want. Salt and pepper, just garlic powder, onion powder, whatever you want. Make sure you get all the little grannies. Okay. Then I haven't seasoned my mushrooms, so... I'm, what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of pepper on them. Okay, so now this goes in the oven. Now, I've already baked the Brussels sprouts ahead of time for 10 minutes on 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Because you need to get it started. Because they're kind of, you know, you have to get them done. And then we laid all of our stuff on here. We're going to pop it back in the oven, still at 425 degrees Fahrenheit, for about 10 to 12, maybe 13 minutes. <clears throat> so, I'll come back with video two on the finished product and put it all on ice for you. 